One witness from today's House Quad Committee hearing just did a 180 and confirmed that it was indeed Rodrigo Digong Duterte who ordered the killing of three Chinese drug lords back in 2016. Let's bring in Marian Enriquez for the latest on that hearing, which is still ongoing as we speak. Hi, Maan. Hi, Sean. Yes, your height is still ongoing. As you can see behind me, the uh, interpolation is still ongoing here at uh, the uh, House of Representatives regarding the extrajudicial killings during the Duterte drug war. And uh, right now, we've learned a lot. No, we, during the, you can recall that two weeks ago, Senior Superintendent of Buc from UCOR, the warden of the Davao prison and penal farm back in 2016, denied all of the accusations of the two PDLs who killed the, the three uh, drug lords there, that the Chinese drug lords, about the murder. And uh, he said that he has nothing to do about that. He has no knowledge about that. But just last week, remember when he, he retracted all of his statements and said that there was actually a call that he received from former CIDG officer Rolina Garma and also, you know, the former... Uh, PCSO general manager ordering him that there will be an operation inside the uh, prison farm and that he's, she says that palay, palagpasin na lang or hayaan na lang. And just today, we learned about, you know, how uh, um, Gerardo Padilla actually really confirmed about receiving a call from uh, President or former President Rodrigo Duterte after the uh, killing of the three drug lords, congratulating him and saying, Quote, good, good job, job well done, pero grabe yung ginawa, ginawang dinugoan. Sean. Okay. Maan, maan, um, we have established these connections, right? And um, I do remember from the last hearing that Gerardo Padilla did request for an executive session and they did go into that executive session. Do you have any idea if this was what he told congressmen in there? Yes, exactly. Sean, that is was the, the the content or what the uh, executive session was um, uh, all about. The uh, confirmation of Gerardo Padilla about that event during that August 2016, what happened when the, the murder of the three Chinese drug lords there in the Davao prison penal farm. And uh, we learned that he actually really confirmed about receiving a call from uh, the former president, Rodrigo Duterte. Sean. Ma and two people have been cited in contempt today, uh, former police colonel Garma, as well as a former palace spokesman, attorney Roque. What do we know about these two contempt orders and what are the logistics there? Where are they going to be staying? So Garma has been cited for contempt for lying and for uh, providing ev evasive re replies to the House lawmakers. And she will be detained here at the House of Representatives until, you know, she gives uh, answers that will really actually help with their investigation. And while, you know, Harry Rocket, we actually talked to him earlier today and he was cited in, uh, in contempt for, you know, not uh, submitting the, the, the documents that they needed, like, for example, the SAL and the uh, ITRs that the uh, House Committee has been uh, requesting for since, I like, think, previous uh, committees already. And he actually said that he will never attend the uh, hearings of the Quad Committee from now on, and he will just file a complaint or a uh, petition before the Supreme Court to question the actions of the Quad Committee. Shot. Maan, at this point, uh, we're going to be seeing some salient portions of a statement that Attorney Harry Roque has sent out to the media. This is what you were saying also. Now, Attorney Roque said, The House of Representatives, Quad Committee's current inquiry is a political inquisition against the Duterte family and me as their outspoken ally. Obvious ang target nito. Ang dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte sa issue ng EJK, Davao City 1st District Representative Paulo Duterte at Attorney Man Scarpio, ang mister ni Vice President Inday Sara Duterte sa issue ng droga at ako sa issue ng pogo. Sa issue ng pogo, malinaw na sinabi ni Cassandra Leong na hindi ako abogado ng Lucky South 99. End of story na dapat ito. Ngunit hindi pa rin tumigil ang Quadcom sa kanilang political harassment at pagpa-power trip. At ito na, no, uh, 
Pinasabi rin na pinasusumite sa akin ang mga personal na dokumento na wala namang kaugnayan sa Pogo. Yan ang sabi ni Atty. Harry Roque. Uh, these documents include my statement of assets and liabilities from 2016 to 2022 or SALN. My and my wife's income tax returns from 2014 to 2022, our respective medical certificates, the extrajudicial settlements of the estate, And Quadcom also asked me for the transfer of shareholdings to Attorney Percival Ortega with trust agreement and related documents submitted to the Securities and Exchange Commission, the ITR of Biancham Incorporated, and the statement of Biancham's beneficial owner filed with the SEC. Dahil dito, I have decided not to appear before the Quadcom until issues that I have ventilated have been brought to the highest court for judicial determination. So, Maan, uh, just to, know, uh, to, to be clear, you know, what, what happens now to uh, Attorney Harry Roque? Is he already there? And uh, have lawmakers been told about this statement from uh, the attorney? We've actually sent uh, the statement by Attorney Harry Roque to the House lawmakers, but then, of course, we have yet to wait for uh, the uh, chair to suspend the quad committee hearing so we can actually ask them uh, their reactions about this uh, statement of Harry Roque.